over the last couple of years, a lot of companies have been going through a lot of logo rebrands and I wanna rate them. So I have 27 different logos ranking from S all the way to trash. So let's see where they land. Okay, so starting off with number one, we have Burger King. Now, to be honest, Burger King's original logo, it's, it's actually pretty sick. From 1999, that's, I would take it. You can tell they didn't just wanna leave it red and yellow because otherwise it's McDonald's getting free advertising because that's just like obviously iconic McDonald's. At least they gave themselves their own colors that they can own. So immediately off the bat, I'm like, okay, I understand it. And I don't hate it either. It's not a bad logo. I think it's actually very great, by the way. I think the use case when it comes to like the packaging, you can like look it up online. It's actually really nice. It's like a really good logo. So with that, okay, we're gonna put Burger King in the S tier. It has to be. I mean, I don't know about it being S tier in like fast food, because like it's not that great to me. Okay, so next up is Discord. Now if i remember correctly discord had a lot of complaints online because of their typeface i don't really know why it got as much hate as it did if i'm you're gonna be like okay what about the i and the the r and the d it just looks really bad to be honest it's pretty playful i think for its audience the reason why it was done i think that it has its reasons of why it looks this way a lot of people say it like it just looks like it was stretched out yeah you know Discord is going to go in the B tier for now. To be honest, I don't think it's that bad, but I do understand why it would have been a very big leap of a chance. I mean, hey, I don't hate it. I don't hate the typeface. I really, really don't. I'm going to put it in A. So up next is PayPal. And might I say it's it, it's for the record. I think it's just a very simple and, and understandable reason of why it's cool. Like it, it just makes sense, right? The previous concept, you couldn't really tell what the other idea of this like outline was. It felt like it wasn't very clear. At least in the update, you get like a really good obvious, hey, there's another key behind it and it's PayPal. You know what I mean? It's a PayPal, right? So it makes sense. I think PayPal is a very solid S tier branding it looks really good also one other thing that is also s tier is my product known as the everything pack it's a one-time purchase custom assets for literally life like it's also a discord community it's pretty freaking cool it's like a subscription but not it's on selfie.com slash hq or sysohq.com if you want to check out some more okay so we got pizza hut next and it's probably one of the more better rebrands over the last couple of years when you look at the differences or excuse me when you look at the similarities they're not the same whatsoever one was very much so hand drawn this one over here feels a little more purposeful a lot more sort of like commercial but it also doesn't lose its actual flair with also of course putting this hat in there it makes sense i'm saying hat it's a stove top isn't it it's a really solid logo absolutely and it has to go in s here for sure airbnb i don't gotta say much too much too much about this is i think airbnb right now is quoted as the best friendliest user-friendly design type system or design system in the world right now this is a this is like a a triangle for navigation and there's like a pinpoint that's iconic and that's gonna stay for a very long time s tier there's a lot of s tiers pepsi is next one of the probably the most newest ones on this actual list i believe they took the old pepsi logo and then used that as inspiration more than their current logo over here they kept the actual personality the logo typeface by the way the type excuse me on it it's just really strong it makes sense we get a more bolder red and or a blue so i can appreciate that a lot that's another s tier However, Coke is better, but it's an S tier. Okay, so we're coming off of a lot of S tiers, like Slack, you're up next. I gotta be a little critical. Ooh, did I just notice that? Ah, oh, they're bubbles, they're like speak, speech bubbles. That's kind of sick. It's a good logo, it makes a lot of sense. Is it as legible as like what its purpose is for? I just feel like the abandonment of this would have been better. Like I'm not a biggest fan of the cross. So I'm gonna say it's not, a, it's not an S but it's absolutely an A. I think that's fair. Okay, so next we have Best Buy 1989. Dang. 1989 logo to me personally is actually still the better logo. The 2018 rebrand of it, it's it's kind of just, it's very boring and it's honestly very forgettable, but it's forgettable because of that yellow tag, right? Because you don't really see it. Like you just, you just straighten out this logo here, you straighten out the type, and like you get rid of this little circle maybe and like at least maybe it might feel good i'm actually gonna put this in b tier very forgettable okay we got pringles okay so this one is a soft spot for me i just took a like a look at this for the first time like really it's actually really bad in my opinion why is this like cut like that no way hold on oh because that's there 
I'm not gonna lie, I still hate it. This over here has so much character. You look at this guy, it feels like the sketch you bring before you get homie over here on the left hand side. You know what I mean? Like this is the homie that she told you not to worry about. I'm I'm getting like uh Levi's vibes from this like this this potato chip company. I'm not really feeling appetizing when I see it. This is like really bad. I, to me, I might be alone on this. I don't know. That was bad. I actually hated that. Okay, so Sprite, oh, Sprite updated their logo? Oh, why? They got rid of like this, this really old Y2K border thing. I'm okay with that. That can, that can go, right? But I don't really like it. They at least kept the typeface, right? And they also kept for some reason where the lemon goes, but not, it's not there. Was this not the play? Like, was that not it? Was that not it? Am I, did I just do something? This is gonna be a C. No questions about it. I don't even get the yellow anymore. That's why Coke is better. Okay, up next is the name of the site that I would I will never understand how they got GoDaddy. GoDaddy. This is how I would think the person was thinking when he created the name. Like definitely. Very solid, very nice. It's very friendly and it, it feels just trust did in a way like it's solid it's something like to scream and be happy about but it's definitely not as bad as best buy in my opinion so i'm gonna say go daddy gets an a verizon there's not much to say here who whatever was happening over here i don't even know how they got away with that like if i had a design with this logo i'm like you gotta put this in the bottom left corner every time i'm like how for what verizon's logo is and what they did to it it, it made visible what was the most purposeful thing so for me S tier, and there's not not much else to say about that. We got Animal Planet. I don't like the typeface, but the elephant's cool. If I'm being honest, this is criminal, criminal what is happening here. Like this is prime first thing I'm trying if I'm like three months into my design career. So, but it's also iconic. To be honest with you, I didn't even know this is what Animal Planet logo was. If you asked me, I would have still thought it was this. Does it get points for feeling good and cool and dope? Yes. Does it feel like the original? No. Does it give me anything of my childhood? No, but it's cool. I'm gonna say B tier. It's definitely not as great uh, 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 as like a, a Slack or a Discord, but like I think those are not great either. I'm on a tight sc scale here, okay? Okay, Taco, but wait, this is not backwards? I trust you, Jay, but is that actually the current logo? Oh my God, how do I feel about this? You know what this feels like? Like if you're on social media, on like an Instagram or a Twitter, someone does a like oversimplified or I made X logo super modern. This is what I would think in most times it misses because I lose the character. These colors on the left-hand side feel so iconic to me that I wonder if this was ever in the idea. Like if you took this and said, boom, I don't know, I'll be honest, it's not great, right? But there's something about this that makes me feel better than this. This feels like heavily corporate for some reason. Like, it doesn't feel tasty. Like, this doesn't look great either. I'm being really honest, really bad still. Maybe if I'd like, hold on, is that better? Or am I just tripping? I'm just like lost in a sauce and it's actually a really good logo. I'll be sad if people put it over in the S or A. I'll be really sad. It's in BC. I don't know where to put it, but it's not great. That's it. Something I can get behind, YouTube, okay? So the YouTube logo, easy to understand. You you kind of receive the actual overall shape from the previous concept over here. You of course get the uh, play button, which is kind of very just symbolic to the idea of pressing play on YouTube. It's just a very, very smart choice in there to put in that play button in there. I mean, nothing more to say besides an S tier for me. Like I'm a big fan of it. Okay, the Kia logo. I'm a little biased on this one because I personally really, really love it. When I came out and whatnot, I remember people saying like, it looks like a K and a backwards N. I don't see an I and an A. You wanna tell me right now that you can't feel it as a symbol of like just a dope, symbol like it doesn't have to always be a legible mark at all times right you can of course always have a symbol a symbolic symbol as like the the logo you know what i mean and to be honest with you kia is doing a really great job with their cars lately with like design in my opinion i just think if i was driving a kia and it still had this logo i'm pissed i'm giving her an s here i think so i'm giving her an s here netflix I, I mean it's i stupidly iconic i mean for record like the the intro the bum the what is this bum bum and they always ask me if, you know, are you still watching? <laughs> yeah. 
you still keep the arch on the bottom which is very i think the most iconic part of it and the overall font choice as well it just makes sense it's just a lot more legible a lot more clean you kept the actual overall look of the design and you at least erased the overall layer styles right and you get a really clean logo i mean they did a great job that's an s for me nissan why I love Nissan, right? It, it was definitely like my first car. This logo is super dope. I think obviously it's dated in the in the idea. It's like a, it's like a badge. The cool part is it was a badge. The logo itself, you see the same exact thing on the car. For some reason, that was kind of that's kind of cool to me. And it also feels a lot more stronger and bolder. I, I just don't know why they had to strip away what made it really cool to me. I'm putting it in the B tier. Minute Maid. If I'm the designer right and i'm told to rebrand this or redo it i'm gonna immediately ask myself does it need one then i ask myself did i finish like is that it like i don't like it it, it feels unfinished it feels like it lost it lost something i'm thinking that nah it's awful i'm not gonna lie minute made we're gonna give you a c I don't know what it is with the drinks and such, but they went to, they went to, eh. I mean, speaking of drinks, I guess, we got Fanta, 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 don't you? Anyway, here's the thing. When you look at the actual Fanta logo on like cans and like their actual drinks, it actually looks really, really great. The design system just looks super dope. We go back to the logo and it just looks very, like honestly dumb. And it just looks like unfinished and weird and empty, but at least like leaving this as like the primary mark and like whatever this is for the secondary stuff for your actual brand and such. Cause it just felt, you know, it just feels better. The logo gets an A tier. The brand system gets an S tier. Is that fair? Yeah. Kodak, to be really honest with you, I don't remember seeing this logo, but I'm also not a photographer, apologies. Oh, I see the, oh, they changed the font a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. It's a cool symbol, dope color scheme. And that's, that's kind of all I got. I mean, so maybe for that reason, I'm gonna put like A, B. Can I do that? I, we're gonna make our own rules. That's not, it's A, B tier. That's what I'm gonna say. Coming up on our final few here, we have Petco. It, they did not get rid of this. No, why? I don't think they got rid of this entirely. I think it's still in their system at least a little bit, but this, it's so boring. I think they made it less friendlier, right? We got a shorter tip on the P. The E is a lot more rounded on this side over here, which is really cool in my opinion. We get this re weird serif. It literally feels like a mistake. So, in my opinion, Petco, I'm gonna put it in the, the the trash. I don't like it. Okay, Patreon. I think this P logo here is kind of cool. It does remind you of like a Pinterest logo though. The similarities, they feel like completely two different brands. So there's obviously a very big brand arch, a lot of bit, uh, a big update on their branding guidelines, things like that, their overall brand direction. Without this, right, zero context, I see this. I get it's a P, but I got zero clue maybe i don't get it to pee immediately you know what i mean I, it's just kind of whack patreon gets a c it's just so weird it doesn't feel complete okay we're in a little bit of clothing now we got gap i'm gonna keep it stupid straight with you they did not need to do this this still feels very it just feels very classic which i'm sure they didn't enjoy anymore they just it just probably felt outdated to them but when i think gap i think this to be completely honest i don't even i don't even recognize what this would be i feel like it lost completely all of its legacy i get they try to keep it with like this random random you know like square behind the p it just feels like the most laziest rebrand approach ever gap without a doubt without even thinking about it has to go in the trash tier but it's just really bad that's all i got and the last one i mean we get a ubisoft i don't really play that many ubisoft games and things like that so i'm sure there's some attachment to this ubisoft logo maybe even this typeface as well that you could have easily probably like kept the legacy of but i think you pretty much kept it pretty well here i'm not upset about it and i also appreciate right this little scratch on the o to kind of make it kind of unify the overall logo uh mark itself I, it feels like it makes purposeful sense i'm gonna give it an a tier now looking back at this i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna move taco bell here and i'm moving kodak to here just because it feels like it's right so this is my final overall tier list for these most popular logo rebrands of course burger king for me and i think pepsi probably has the most iconic rebrand and honestly maybe like even a kia and then maybe pizza hut are like my favorite ones out of the bunch but you let me know in the comments below what what did you have changed and i'm curious where you would put them like i'm really curious what do you guys think personally about the nissan logo the sprite logo and the taco bell logo if you guys let me know at least that much in the comments below i'll be very happy with that 
I'm done. You guys can chill and go watch another video, all that good stuff. You can also check out mine if you guys want to as well. Uh, don't forget to check out my selfie.com, so or you can go to sysohq.com either way and check out the everything pack, which is basically my one-time purchase. Basically, you get custom assets for life for 40 bucks forever and ever. It's like a subscription without a subscription. You just buy it once. It's dope. But uh, yeah, so, so HQ out. You're not going to keep smiling. Stay positive and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, much love. Peace. Enjoy your day. It's fun.